Hi guys, this is uh, Chris Baker Bassmaster here, and I'm going to show you guys a few things about frogs. First, I'm going to tell you what kind of frogs I use, and then what I use when I'm throwing frogs, and then some tips on how to use them. The frogs I like to use, I want to have a nice, soft frog. It's soft but durable, and I also want to have at least a half of inch to have that good hook set because when you're uh, throwing that frog and when that bass smashes it you want to have at least half an inch to get that hook right into his lip this right here is a, a mazoo frog croaker and these things just pop along and they sit in the water like that it really helps you get the uh, pop this is Bass Pro Shop's Kermy frog I hate this frog never gonna buy it again I got the six pack of them and I'm never buying them again I hate this frog can't stress enough. The weight fell out. The plastic is horrible. It's not durable at all. And the plastic is sticky. It'll stick. I don't know if that's good, like if it's supposed to stick to the mouth, or uh, or even if they meant to do that. But yeah, this is really sticky, really low quality. I just hate this frog. It's a horrible, horrible decision to buy this. This is my number one frog, the KVD Sexy Frog. This is my go-to frog when I'm uh, fishing frogs because the detail is great, hook set is great, it's really durable. I mean, you got a whole bunch of room to set that hook. When he smashes it, that hook's driving right into his mouth. That point two is really sharp. And when I fish frogs, I like to fish natural colors. I just, I'm just a really natural fishing guy I, I really like fishing natural I don't fit like to fish those crazy like spinner baits or anything I just like to throw stuff that the bass are used to eating I like to throw the white because uh, I like to throw it over the uh, algae mats and a uh, vegetation lily pads stuff like that because that's what the bass are used to seeing that white belly of a actual frog just hopping across that vegetation and they just instinct just to smack it the only time I really fish dark, dark uh, bottom frogs is when um when I'm fishing open water because that's what they're looking at when uh when they're looking up to it that's what they're seeing behind the blue and blue and white sky so it really stands out but if it was like a white frog it would maybe just look like a cloud when they're looking up or if it was like a blue bottom frog it would just look like nothing's there that's why I like to do natural colors like on the vegetation and then darker colors in the open water. Alright, so what I use when I'm fishing frogs, I like to throw braids, preferably 65 pound Power Pro. I like to have a uh, medium heavy bait casting reel. I mean medium heavy bait casting rod. And with the reel, I like to tighten the drag all the way up so it has no give at all whatsoever. And that's basically what I uh, what I like to fish it with. Some people say the 65 pound braid is overkill, but I really don't think so because the braid actually helps you cut through the vegetation. You know when you're fishing really heavy slop. So yeah, that's why I love that 65 pound braid. And here's some tips for fishing frogs. When you're fishing frogs, you just wanna if you wanna walk the frog, you just wanna bounce the slack. You can do it really fast and the frogs can go like 180s every time. Perfect. Then you can stop it and then if you see a swirl, try and hit it or you miss a, a bass. Just keep it there and just boom, just keep it in that same place. Just walking it like that. Make that frog just look left and right. And then eventually that bass is just going to come up and smack it. But yeah. And also when the bass smacks it, make sure to wait about a second maybe even two seconds and uh... then you just yank the hell out of it get that hook right into his lip but yeah that's basically uh... how i fish frogs and uh... what frogs i like and my techniques thanks for watching and stay tuned keep watching chris baker bassmaster videos comment rate and subscribe Thanks.